Welcome back to Electric TV and thanks for the click on this story. A few weeks back we introduced you to a remarkable commercial building occupied by the New York Times Company. Remarkable because of its energy efficiency and inspired design. The NECA IBEW team was responsible for the installation of a new total light management system. We were taken on a quick tour through their new digs by ETV's Dominic Gerritano. Today we're going to dive a little deeper into this project. We'll show you exactly how it works and how much energy and money they're saving. The first stop on the tour was on the roof where the brains of the operation are located. On the mast of this 1.4 million square foot skyscraper is a radiometer and global illuminance sensor. These measure the position of the sun and the brightness of the sky. The natural path of the sun throughout the day is tracked and recorded, and if it's a cloudy day, these sensors recognize that too. Each floor has numerous electrical closets housing multiple electrical panels. The Lutron lighting systems in here talk to the controls and adjust each quadrant of each floor accordingly. The workspaces are equipped with two sets of eyes, daylight sensors and occupancy sensors. They're meant to make quick adjustments on a case-by-case -case basis. But what really makes this space unique and a true design marvel is the amount of customization that's built in. For that, let's catch up with the tour once again. First and foremost, what's important to realize is that each and every fixture it has a dimmable ballast in it and it has an intelligent chip so that we can it's addressable so that we can associate fixtures in multiple zones at once we've been able to build a multiple layer of control type system so the default is daylighting that's what we want to have as the primary setting it's the most comfortable for people it makes people feel better about what they're doing it's a, going back to enhance the way we work right but we also have other settings. This is a preset dimmable controller that allows us to control the lights in multiple manners. So for instance, if we wanted to do audio visual in this room, I would go into preset four and all the lights that are between the projector lens and the screen, we turn those off and we keep the others on. Sure. So this is a preset scene mm -hmm. with a dimmable system where you have target set points where you can tune the light levels. We tuned it all the way down from 50 to 30 so no matter, even without the daylight, we've already saved 40% in this building by dimming down from 50 to 30 foot candles. And we have a number of departments running anywhere from 10 to 25 foot candles. So we have even deeper savings in those departments. It's absolutely fantastic. Great. Uh, now the shades on the windows, are those uh, programmable? Uh, do you have control over them? Talk about that. Yes. The automated shade system. This is an automated shade system. And we believe that an automated shade system was necessary if you really want to optimize your energy usage. So the primary algorithms say bring the shades down if we have direct sun in the plane of the window or if we have glare. Otherwise, let's keep the shades up. And in this building, the shades are up 70% of the time. When you add natural light into people's space, you create a better work environment which lends to better health, it lends to more creativity, more productivity. And if we can accept that we get 1% productivity improvement in our space, the system paid itself back in a matter of months. And just to reiterate a few points from the first video tour, the electrical contractors were the first ones in the ceiling during the installation process. They installed one complete floor first. The work was then checked by the New York Times company reps. Flaws were identified and problems were fixed. They completed the remaining 26 floors without compounding any mistakes. Let's take a look at the raw numbers. The New York Times Company is saving at least 40% because they're using 30-foot candles instead of the 50-foot standard. When the lights are on, the energy pumping to them is more than 70% below the required New York City code for wattage per square foot. This all adds up to an annual total savings of $1 per square foot. Multiply that by the 600,000 square feet that they occupy and the results are astounding. Remember now, this type of installation isn't only available to you owners out there who have a brand new building to work with. Retrofit installations are just as practical. Now that's a lot of bang for your buck. I'm Tom Green. See you again in a couple of weeks.